PDP crisis. Saraki reveals when we K and G5 governors demands will be met. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us once again on the channel. Now on today's report, we see that um, Saraki, the former Senate president, has revealed when the um, G5 governors demands will be met. Now we know that the G5 governors are the group of aggrieved governors in the People's Democratic Party who have been standing on the ground that um, amongst other issues that the uh, national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Senator um, Dr. Yocha Ayu, must actually step down um, from the post of being the national chairman. And this they are saying is that because we cannot have um, the presidential candidate being from the north and Iyocha Ayu, who is the national chairman, also being from the north. And as they said, it's in the terms of balancing. You cannot have two key positions being held from the same region and that Iyocha Ayu should step down and while a southerner should take over that position for the purpose of balancing. Well, we see that this has dragged on for so long and we see that the G5 governors actually to stamp home their point to show how serious they were actually went as far as saying uh, that they would not um campaign neither would they even support or vote for atiku abubakar who is their presidential um candidate and we see all that the g5 actually did withdraw from the campaigns of the pdp and so far they have been on their own and saying that they would come out at some point to tell their supporters who um, they should vote for in the forthcoming elections. We also saw that in a similar report, um, which we had, um, that the G5 governors were actually now finding it difficult to actually pick one particular um, candidate to vote for, as there was a bit of division between them. Some people wanting Peter Obi of the Labour Party, some people supporting um, Ashiwa Jubola Tinubu of the APC. And so far, the G5 have not been able to come up with one candidate who their supporters should actually vote for, as they have vowed that they would not campaign, neither would they vote for um, Atiku Abubakar, seeing that um, the demands which they have been making for so long have not been met in any way. And we still see that Iyocha Ayu still remains the chairman of um, the party. Well, we see now on today's report, Saraki is revealing when their um, demands will be met. But before we go into the details in full, we'd like to welcome all of you who are joining us for the very first time. Uh, please do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Now, if you are one of our existing subscribers, thank you so much for your support. We do not take it for granted. Please um, do well to give us a thumbs up as always on our post as they come your way. Thank you very much and God bless you. Now into the details of today's report, PDP crisis, Saraki reveals when we came and the G5 governor's demands will be met. Now the former Senate president, Dr. Bukola Saraki, has said that nobody is against the demands being made by Governor Yesom Wiki and his aggrieved colleagues. The G5 governors are demanding, among other things, that the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, steps aside. Now, the governors, angered by the outcome of the party's presidential primary election, which was won by Atiku Abubakar, have been demanding that the party chairman, Iyocha Ayu, steps down. But the party's presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, and a majority of the party's leaders have refused to succumb to the demand, insisting that if at all possible, it would happen only after the election. Now, this is not what Atiku can do by his own decision. I can assure you that it is an issue of timing. 
Saraki said on Arise TV's morning show on Monday. Everybody is on the same page with what the G5 are asking for. It's all about when it will happen. These are the kind of things that we are talking about now. Nobody is against what they are saying, but it is about timing, when it will happen, and how we will go about it. And we are working to see those issues uh, addressed. Now, the chairman himself didn't say he wants to sit tight, but what is important before us now is the election. I don't see article being sworn in May 2023, and this chairman still remains in that office. I don't see it. It is all about timing and how to go about it. Well, we see that um, the former senior president, Bukola Saraki, has come out um, to say. Now, he said this on the Arise TV Monday show. And um, like he said, it's not like the party is actually against what the G5 are demanding for. And it's not like the party doesn't want to succumb to what the G5s are demanding and what they are asking for. But it is just about the timing and when it will happen. And like Saraki is saying, it is not just in Atiko's power alone to take that decision. Now, even if that decision is going to be taken, it's about when it will happen. And according to Saraki, it's not something that can just happen immediately, but it is about timing. And like, like in his words, he doesn't see Atiko being sworn in as the president on May 2023. And Iocha Ayu is still sitting on that seat um, as the chairman. It's just about timing and how um, they will go out. But I think this is like a subtle, subtle appeal to the G5 governors to actually understand that um, their demands are actually not invalid. Their demands are being actually discussed and being talked about. It's just about the timing of when it will happen and how it will happen and how they will go about it. What now the PDP seems to be focusing in on is the elections how they can actually win the elections come February 25th. And then before they now go into the issues of all of these demands that are being made by the G5 um, governors. I think this is a subtle appeal to the G5 to know that their demands are actually valid. Their demands are actually being put in mind, but it's just about the timing of when it will happen and how they will go about it as a party. Well, that's all we can take on the details of today's report. Um, until we we'll come your way next time with more news happenings around the country, please do well to stay safe. Bye-bye.